Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. Today's RoboBite, I want to talk to you about the Line Finder Sensor Pack that's an exclusive bundle from Pitsco that includes a digital Line Finder sensor, a mount, screws, and cables. Everything you need to go ahead and put that on your robot. Now, it's part of the control category in the Tetrix ecosystem. It is digital in nature. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a mount uh, with the cable. This is what it looks like mounted up. does come with everything you need to be able to put it on your robot and use it effectively. It's common use. It's a digital uh, line finder, but commonly would be used to put on a robot and be able to either follow a line or detect a contrast, high contrast between light and dark whether that would be a light line on a dark background or the other way, a black line on a white background. That's what it's typically used for. Follow, uh, follow a line, be able to navigate your robot uh, correctly. Tips uh, and tricks to think about um, because it is a digital sensor. It does have a tuning screw on the sensor that allows for fine tuning of the sensor performance when it's on the robot or by adjusting the height on the robot, how far it is from the surface, uh, if you think about that and reflecting, you can actually tune this a little bit so that it performs differently at different levels. Again, because of the tuning screw or the way that it actually, the height that it's mounted on your robot. Let me go ahead and show you mounted on a robot. This is a, a, a pulse robot, as you can see, that I have it connected to on the front. Uh, there are some things that you need to watch out for from a troubleshooting standpoint. Again, depending on, because it's digital in nature and the fact it's gonna give you a uh, yes or no, whether it sees the line, you have to adjust the way that that uh, works as far as performance wise by either changing the height, how far it is away from the surface or using that little adjustment screw. Uh, but it is uh, tunable in that uh, aspect. The other troubleshooting uh, item to remember is again, you've got uh, a cable that you have to make sure that wherever you mount this on your robot, you uh, can reach to your controller. So those are some of the things to think about uh, from a troubleshooting aspect. Uh, resources, remember you can always go to www.pitsco.com and at the bottom of every product page, you'll find uh, technical specs, things like that. that will allow you to find out everything you need to know about that particular product. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us.